Yeah, that last uh, drive there, that long drive they scored on, and they got the extra point, the, the two-point conversion. That was one of the longest drives that I can remember. <laughs> that was uh, that was horrible. Uh, we had some opportunities to get them off the field. We just couldn't close them out. And, uh, and fortunately, we were able in, the, in overtime to pull the win out. But uh, this is a weird offense. You know, you never we don't face this kind of offense all year long. And so to get ready for what Peru State does in four or five days of preparation is just really, really hard. And our guys fought hard on defense. You know, we're playing good defense. No idea. We probably gave up a million yards rushing, but we kept the score respectable, you know, 13 points there late in the game against a team who can do some real damage to you. So I'm proud of that effort. I'm glad we don't have to play this kind of offense again for a while. Um, next year we got William Penn coming in our league who does the same thing, so now it'll be two of those a year. And I, I could do without that. But uh, but it gives Peru State an advantage. It gives them an edge. Uh, it really fits well with who they're able to recruit here. They get some really tough kids here and, and great frame, big uh, not farm kids necessarily, but Nebraska big right. tough kids, and uh, and it, it favors uh, it favors that type of person this offense does, and, and it works for them. So I'm just feel fortunate we came out on top.